606 on the morning news. Let's go to Rusty Dean, who is standing by in the Weather Center for us this morning with a look at today's forecast. And Rusty, yesterday you were promising zero at least at some point today. I'm sure hoping that's still the case. Uh, me too, Heather. And this morning it is a tough though because when you step outside, there's still that wind chill factor. It's cold. There's some bite with the wind chill minus 22 here in Regina. Here's a live shot of what we're seeing. You can't really tell right now, but as we see the sunrise this morning around 6:43, and you watch that blue sky come out, it's going to be really gray, heavy, and very thick fog on the outskirts of the city of Regina. Now this hour, our warm location is in Cypress Hill. They're sitting right around that zero minus one marker. Our cold location, Bratz Lake, sitting around that minus 20 range. Again, we are seeing milder morning temperatures, but still nowhere near seasonal. For Regina area overnight, we should sit around minus eight, and we are experiencing this minus 16 with thick cloud and very, very heavy fog really lingering over the city. Our current conditions elsewhere for those right on the border, Kindersley Rosetown area minus 13. We're seeing our border city, Lloyd Minster at minus six. The warm places, I hate to say this, in northern Saskatchewan, LaRange, even further north, Uranium City around minus seven to minus 10 this morning. They're going to see plus temperatures and really warming conditions with an adamant high pressure system over the northern part of our province. Now, with that said, if there's anything that they need to worry about, it's a light dusting of snow. So Prince Albert on the cusp of it and then further north, seeing a little bit of on and off snowfall activity into the late afternoon overnight period. But again, we are seeing a high pressure system. Unfortunately, though, it does come with cooler air settle in over the central and southern zone of our province, which isn't really leading to warm conditions as the morning and the day progresses. And when we reach, you know, minus 14, it'll be 839 o'clock. We're still going to be cold without wind chill into the afternoon. Mix of sun and cloud, partly cloudy sky, minus five. That'll feel more like minus seven to minus eight with the wind chill factor into the evening. The sun will set around 723 tonight. We'll see minus 10 overnight tonight, clearing as the night progresses, but still cold with the wind chill. We'll feel around minus 13 to minus 15. 643. Good morning. Thanks for staying with us. Uh, heavy fog over Regina as well. Some fog in Moose Jaw. There is some light snowfall activity for those in the Yorkton area. So if you're traveling out that way, you'll likely run into a little bit of a snow rain mix uh, around Regina, though. Department of Highways issuing issuing both Regina and Moose Jaw with smooth sailing, except for again that very, very heavy fog. And you're going to notice here with our Caltire traffic cameras how thick that fog is, especially coming in off the highway. So if you're coming in from Pilot Butte to White City or Emerald Park, running into that fog right away initially when you turn onto Highway 1. If you're traveling east towards Winnipeg, it's going to run out that fog around the Mooseman area. But again, here's a look at Victoria Avenue East, just thick fog. Unfortunately, that's going to stick around this morning for both cities, Moose Jaw and Regina, till about to 9 at 10 o'clock this morning. So please give yourself an extra couple of minutes as you head out the door. Well, we're looking ahead to warmer days in the backyard with a cold one, throwing the ball around. And to help that mood along, we welcome this morning Jamie Campbell. He is host of Blue Jays Central, and Jamie is on a Western Canada tour, uh, sliding into the Global Regina Studios this morning after a late night. A late night. Yes. I'll say that. We haven't gone to bed yet. <laughs> wow. Let the cat out of the bag. That was my first question. Have you this even had... This is a had... good town. Yeah, this is a really great place. So tell us about your evenings, your adventures last we night. We were at the Press Box last night and then O'Hanlon's, which mm -hmm. was uh, surprisingly lively for a Wednesday night. Is it Wednesday? It's Thursday. It's it? Thursday, yeah. so you, you would have been out on Wednesday. Yeah, that's right. You Thank can you. stay yeah. here. I mean, Regina's awesome. a, a friendly place to be. I know oh, that you're yeah. wearing your rider jersey because you yeah. love our team. Be, uh, legitimately. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. And this is not by design. I didn't just wear this because I knew I was going to be here. I, right. I love the riders. Well, that's good, and I, I'm sure you've noticed how much snow we have and how really cold it is outside mm -hmm. in our city for while well, getting into April. But you're probably going to be back for the Grey Cup. Yep. We're going to be feeling this exact same weather, so we'll see you in six months. Greg's so bring your jacket. I will be here. We've already got our suites booked downtown, and the uh, the festivities <laughs> are slowly getting planned. It's a, it's a long way away, but uh, I can't wait. So we're transitioning from talking about football because, of course, you're with the Jays, yeah. and uh, we're here to get the scoop on on the Jays. Now, I, I don't know if we should start with the good, bad, or the ugly. It's been frustrating for a lot of Jays fans mm -hmm. across the country because they're they're our team, they're our MLB team, to have had such a brutal last couple of years, really, to not have a big run until the mid '90s. But yeah. this year, lots of optimism and lots of excitement. It's the 20-year anniversary mm -hmm. since they last made the playoffs, and Joe Carter hit his famous home run, and, and they won the World Series. And thankfully, they've gone about changing the club so dramatically that uh, on paper they may be the best team in their division and quite possibly in the American League. Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited about what they're capable of doing, but I caution people that there are still 162 games to be played. <laughs> and as much as R.A. Dickey's on the club now and Josh Johnson and Jose Reyes and Jose Bautista's coming back healthy, you know, things can go wrong. But mm. uh, there, is, there is great excitement, and rightly so. They could, they could conceivably win the division.
division and make a playoff run. Now, I know, Jamie, you said on paper they look to be the best, and this could be the best year. But so you will have the opportunity to get to know the coaching staff and the players on a more intimate level. Uh, what's the dynamics like for this team this year? Um, they are they are a very fast team. Like, Jose Reyes is going to be their leadoff hitter, the kind of leadoff hitter they haven't had since a half season of Ricky Henderson uh, so many years ago. And uh, so with, with him and with uh, Rajay Davis coming off the bench and Emilio Bonifacio, who can run like the wind, and a kid by the name of Anthony Ghost, um, who will be up with the club at some point, they are easily the fastest team in all of baseball. And then you've got the power aspect. You've got Jose Bautista, who hit 54 home runs a few years back, and Edwin Encarnacion. Mm -hmm. Um, and their pitching staff is so strong. There's, 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 they, they are good in almost every respect. So selfishly, I want you to tell me that your time in Regina, you've seen some Jays fans and that we're your favorite city yeah. that you've toured across this so far. Is that the truth or am I just blowing uh, smoke this I'm morning? I'm not buttering you up. This is uh, probably my favorite province outside of Newfoundland. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and it never ceases to amaze me how much fun we have when we come here. Mm -hmm. Well, Jamie, thank you for the brief preview of the Jays. No trouble. Um, thank you for taking in Regina. And so likely, we'll open it up last night with a couple of people <laughs> that won't be making it to work, <laughs> courtesy right. of you That's right. and That's your okay. entourage. But yeah. uh, we look forward to welcoming you back for Grey Cup. When can we start to hear more about the Jays and you? And when can we be watching you? Uh, on Tuesday mm -hmm. at, uh, I guess it would be Regina time, 4 o'clock is our uh, two-hour preview show into the opener against the Cleveland Indians. So uh, we invite you to join us on Sportsnet. There is so much to discuss. Greg Zahn will be joining me, and we'll look forward to R.A. Dickey throwing uh, the first pitch in front of a sold-out crowd at the Rogers Center. Such a treat to have you on this morning. I'm feeling very, well, I'm starting to blush because you're such a star, and now you're here in Global Regina well, Studios. I appreciate you having me. Well, thanks again, and good luck with the upcoming season. Okay, thanks, Rusty. Still to come on the morning news, we'll tell you the Fab Four that made history on today's date. But first, here's a live shot this morning brought to you by Direct West. With the wind chill, you're going to want to bundle up as you step outside. Minus 24 is what we're feeling curling in Regina. Heavy fog looming over the city. We're back after a two-minute break. Don't go away.